So we'll just get started. Sitting up nice and tall, finding your comfort spot. And lifting up from the heart. And maybe turning the palms up. Just seeing what it's like to come into this moment. If you want, you can close your eyes. And check out what's going on in your body. How's your body feeling today? How's the thoughts coming in the mind? Are there many? Are there a few? Begin to take a deeper breath through the nostrils. If that's comfortable for you. And in this class, nothing should hurt. Just do what works for your body. It doesn't matter what me, what I'm doing, or anybody else is doing. Relax your shoulders. And slowly drop your chin down towards your chest. And slowly pick the chin up, looking up towards the ceiling. Lifting up the chin, not straining the back of the neck. And slowly bringing it back down again. And bringing it back up. Looking up to there is the ceiling. Opening up the eyes a little wider, bringing it to center. Turning your head to your right. And slowly dropping your chin down. Picking the chin back up again. Bring it to center. Turn the head to the left. Turn the eyes to the left. Drop the chin down. Pick the chin back up again. And bring it to center. Dropping the right ear to the right shoulder. And allowing the head to roll around nice and slow. Letting go of any tension you might be holding in your shoulders or your neck. Roll it around. Bring it to center. And let's go the other way. Roll the head the other way. Nice roll. You might hear some creaks and crunches. Bring it back to center. Just turn the upper body to one side. Turn the upper body. Turn the eyes to look out over the, towards the shoulder. Turning the uh, spine. Rotating the spine a little bit. Bring it to center. Let's go to the other side. Deep breath all the way down to the belly. Bring it back to center. Bringing the arms up over the head. Lengthen. Drop your shoulders down and see if you can reach right from here. Reach from here. Reach that right arm a little up higher. And if it's uncomfortable for you to lift up your arms, then don't. You decide what level it's best at. Reach the other arm a little higher. Reach them both up. Open them up. Push the fingers away. Open and close the fingers. Open and close the fingers. Nice. Let's do it nice and slow. Close that thumb slowly. Close the pointer finger in slowly. Close the middle finger, the ring finger, the baby finger. Middle that, let that little finger out. Ring finger out. Middle pointer, thumb. Open and close the fingers. Open and close the fingers. 
Everything in those fingers work right up to the brain. Good for your shoulders, good for your neck. Turn your palms towards me and throw a ball to me. Row, move your wrist, throw that ball. Now throw it behind you. Throw it to somebody behind you. Lift it up to the sky. And drop it down. Good. And one more time, round that spine, turn over to one side, look out over one shoulder. Lift up your heart. Be here now, don't let the mind wander. Be in the moment. Center to the other side. Deep breath. While you're on that side, roll it down. Just stretch it out. Lengthen the spine a little. Walk it forward. Walk it forward. Lengthen your spine. Walk it back up. And we'll go to the other side. Walk it to the other side. One side goes further than the other. It's the way that you have your legs crossed. And it may be a little tightness in one hip or the other. Doesn't matter. Bring it to center. Walk it back up. Bring the hands behind you. Straighten that spine. Lift up. Beautiful. Nice shoulders are back. Uncurl your legs. Bring it out and bring it up. Bring it up. Open the legs. Crisscross. Open. Crisscross. Open. Heels away. Bring them together and drop them down. Bring the arms up over the head and reach gently. Reach gently. Bring your toes back to your face. Nice deep breath. Bring it back up. Arms come up over the head. Reach it over. We're going down onto your mat, onto your belly. Onto your belly. Lengthen the arms out in front of you. Wiggle the bottom half. And then pick up the right arm and the left leg. Up and down, up and down. Tighten the left glute. Drop it down, pick up the other arm, left arm, right leg. Up and down several times. Bring it down. Pick up both arms and both legs. Reach it out, reach the arms out in front of you. Reach the arms beside you. Reach the arms behind you. Out to beside you. In front of you. Clasp your hands underneath your shoulders and maybe come on up a little. Lift up, drop your shoulders down. Breathe. Good. And come back into child's pose. Buttocks goes on to the heels. Open up the legs if you like. Forehead goes on the floor, or you can support your forehead with your thumbs together, with your hands together. Nice deep breath all the way down the spine. slowly onto all fours. If you have a towel or a mat that you would like to put on to soften it for your knees, do that. Spread your fingers. Your hands are underneath your hips. Underneath your shoulders, sorry. That would be the knees that are underneath your hips. Wiggle those hips. From side to side. Maybe make a big circle. Go all the way around to one side slowly back into the other. A couple times each way. Stretch it back. 
be here now. Go the other way. And bring it back to center. Inhale your head and tail up. And then exhale, the spine comes up, the head and the tail go down. Inhale up. Exhale. Inhale. to center. Lift up one knee. The knee is bent. Lift it up as if you were a dog approaching a fire hydrant. Go up and down a few times. Up and down. Open up that hip and groin area. Bring it down. Let's do the same on the other side. Up up the, lift up the other leg. Bent knee. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Cross the left leg over to the right on your toes. Go back and forth on your toes. Back and forth on your toes. If it bothers your wrist, come on up on your fists or down on your forearms. Lots of options. Let's go to the other side. Bring that leg over. Back and forth. Back and forth. Now pick that right foot up, or that foot up a little bit, and pulse it. Pulse it. Stretch it out. Pulse it. Bring it to center. We'll go to the other side and pulse that one. Stretch the faint toes out. Pick it up. Pulse it, pulse it, pulse it. Go back into child's pose for another long stretch. Wonderful for your back. Bring your nose forward on the floor, your chin forward. When it gets to your hands, push up like a push up. Drop the belly down, chin back on the floor. Bring it all the way back here in child's pose again. Nose forward, bring it all the way up to the hands, push up. Belly towards the floor, the, heel, the hips are up and the head. Now round the spine, tuck your tail under. Bring it back down, back down. And bring it back to center. Let's do some cow cats, inhaling and exhaling, rounding that spine. Bring it to center, lengthen that left leg. You can leave the toes on the floor if you like or you can pick them up. You can lengthen the right arm if you like also. Lengthen. Whole body is lengthened. Push your left heel away. Drop your hand and your leg up and down. Bring the knee and the elbow into the body. And out. And in. And out. And bring it down. Wiggle that bottom half. Lengthen the right leg and the left arm. Stretch it out. Go up and down. Up and down. Bring the elbow and the knee in towards each other. And out. Exhale as you bring it in. Inhale as you bring it out. One more time. Exhaling and inhaling. Good. So we're going to glide up into down dog. Lift up. Lift up. Stretch it out. Work one foot up and then the other. Up and down. Lift up the to left toes. Point them. Bring it down. Come into plank. Come on back up again. Lift up the right leg. Bring it 
down. Walk the feet up to the hands. Soften your knees. And we're going to come up slowly. Come on up slowly. Come on up slowly. Stand up tall. Stand up tall. Roll one shoulder forward up, down and back. And then the other. Again, on each side. Go back. Go back. And up, forward and down. Back and up. Loosen up those shoulders. And come to stillness. Pick up your toes. Pick them up. Drop them down. Pick them up. Drop them down. Pick them all up. Pick them up a little higher. Don't forget, during the day, I want you to wiggle your toes. Really important. The toes go right up to the brain. You know, if you have shoulder issues and neck issues, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Come on up on your tiptoes. Tippy toes. If you want to walk forward a little bit, feel free to do so on your toes. Walk it back. Back to flat feet again. Pick up your big toes. Big toes up only. Drop it down. Pick up your little toes. Drop it down. Pick up all the toes. Drop it down. Push your arms out. Now we just, the arms are shoulder height. Let's make a little circle. Nice, slow, pump it. Make it a little bigger. Good. Let's go the other way. Move it around. Lift up from the core. You're reaching up, the pulling up the upper of the body, up the body as the feet go into the earth. Let's push back. Push it back. Push it back. Push it back. Push it back. Bring the hands back out. Point your fingers to the sky. Rotate. Rotate the shoulders. Rotate that shoulder joint. Little movement in that shoulder joint. Rotate it. Bring it around in front. Turn it, bring it down. Release the shoulders. If you need to have a little shake out, shake it out. It's up to you. Clasp the hands and bring it out in front of you. Drop your shoulders. Separate your shoulders. Separate your shoulders. Good. Nice deep breath. The belly is tight. The core is lifted. Open and close the fingers. Open and close the fingers. Bring it around behind you. Open up the legs. Grab a hold. Reach forward. Stop halfway down. You can lift the hands up if you want. Come on back up. Release it. Bend the left elbow and then the right. Bring them towards each other, however that may be for you. Lift up your heart, stand up taller. Suck in that belly. Drop your shoulder as much as you can. Get comfortable. Work with your shoulders. If you have shoulder issues, work with that. Release it, release it. Shake it out, shake it out. And let's do the same on the other side. Lift up that other arm and bring the arms as close together as you can. Now, if you had a strap near you, you could use a strap or you could just let them crawl up. They're perfect where they are. Perfect where they are. And release it. Good. Let's do triangle. Bring your right foot forward facing the front of the mat. The left foot is in the back and turned in ever so slightly. Bring the arms out to the side. Bring the arms out to the side. Reach towards your forward foot and bring that right hand down and the left hand up. Bring the left shoulder back a little. Breathe. Your head is in line with your forward leg. Deep breath. Reverse it. 
Look up at your right hand. And bring it down again. Notice what that feels like. Bring both hands down on your forward right leg. Your belly is towards your thigh. Bend the right knee. Keep it nice and straight. Bring the arms up over the head. Right knee is bent. Push on that left foot. Wide stance. Now, don't let your knee go beyond your toes. Reach it forward. Reach it forward. Reach the hands back. Nice deep breath. Reach the hands forward. Reach them over the head. Straighten that right leg. Bend the right knee. Right hand forward, left hand back, warrior one. Drop your shoulders, lift up your heart. Nice deep breath, you're looking at your right hand. Reverse it. Look at your right hand. Bring it forward again. Straighten that leg. Turn that right foot forward. Bring your arms up over your head. And reach forward and down. Forward and down. Hands over towards your right leg. Walk the hands over towards your left. Walk them back to center. Bend your knees and come up slowly. Straighten the spine. Lift up. Grow taller. Lift up. Good. Now turn your left foot out for a triangle. Arms come out to the side. Reach forward and down. Now if you have shoulder issues, just bend that elbow and put that right arm behind you. Let your left hand rest on your left leg. Nice deep breath. Reverse it. up at your left hand, forward and down again, both hands come down on your forward left leg, bend the knee, bring the arms up over your head, drop your shoulders, Push on your back right foot. Reach it forward. Arms are up by your ears if you can and lengthen. Bring it back. Bring it forward again. Straighten that left leg. Bring the arms up over your head. Left hand forward, right hand back. Bend that left knee, warrior one. You're looking at your left hand, your shoulders are back. Nice deep breath. Put a smile on that gorgeous face of yours. Bring it forward, both hands go over the head. Bring the hands to the heart center. Bring that back foot up to the forward foot and stand up tall. Push your hands together. Push them together. Bring them up. Open the legs a little bit. Take a moment to think of what you're grateful for today. Drop your shoulders. Be here now. Be here now. Bring it down. Hands away from you. And let's go up and down a few times. So turn your knees and toes out a little bit. We're gonna just go up and down. Nice and slow. Down slow. One, two, three.
three. We're coming down for three. Up. Bend. 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 Up. Bend. 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 Up. Go up and down a few times. Up and down. Up and down. Bend the knees. Good. And bring it to stillness. Let's go into goddess. Knees are pointing, uh, toes are pointing more straight ahead. That's time. Bring the arms out. Straighten. Bend. Straighten. Bend. Turn the upper body to one side. To center. Turn the upper body to the other side. To center. Again, to the back, to the other side. Center, side again. Center, straighten, push the hands out. Arms come up over the head, reach forward, slow, nice and slow. Drop it down to a comfortable level for you. Bend your knees, come up slowly. And roll the shoulders. One shoulder and the other. See what that feels like. Flop it out. Just feel good. Good. Combine back up. Wiggle the feet a little bit. And let's just put the weight into one leg and lift up the other leg. Up and down. Try and keep that hips nice and straight. Hold on to the wall if you have a wall or the chair. Whatever you might like. Just up and down a few times. Up and down. Up and down. Point the toes. Stretch it out. Don't forget, you're lifting up all the time. Bring it in. Switch to the other leg. Up and down. Up. 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 Down. Out to the side. Out. 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 Other side. Out. 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 Good job. Pedal jog. Let's go into chair. Push your tail back. Bend your knees. Bring your hands forward. Push it back. Breathe. Come on up on your toes a little. And back down. Reach it up. And down. Push the tail back. shoulders. Roll the shoulders. Let's come down to a seated position. Come on down on your mat to a seated position. Get yourself comfy. Point your toes. Flex your toes. Spread your toes. Crunch them. Spread. Open them up wide, apart. spread and crunch, spread and crunch. Do it with your fingers and your toes at the same time. Fingers and toes, fingers and toes. Keep them limber. They go all the way up to that brain, right up the vagus nerve. So, left leg out, take that right leg, bring it over your left. Now, if that's uncomfortable for you, don't bring it over, okay? Bring it into the body with your left hand. I have my right knee bent, and I'm using my opposite hand, my left hand, to bring it into my body. And then I'm lift up from the heart, bring my right hand behind me, and turn and look out over my shoulder. Nice. Nice deep breath. Nice deep breath. Bring that back hand up towards the sky. Bring it forward. Reach it forward. behind you. Look out over your right shoulder. Breathe. And bring it back. One more time. Good. Now 
Now this time you're gonna take your right leg. In my case, I'm using my right leg. My right knee is bent. Put it down by my calf. I'm gonna take my left hand and just kind of give that right knee a push away. As I'm going to swivel my hips around a little and look out over my right shoulder. Nice deep breath. Deep breath. Bring it back. And I'm gonna turn around again. center. Good. Shake it out. Let's do the same on the other side. Bend that knee. Bend, uh, for me, I'm bending my left knee now. My right hand is going to hold my left knee. My left hand is going behind me. Look out over your left shoulder. If it doesn't work for you to cross your leg, please don't feel as though you should do that then. Make it yours. Bring the arms up over your head. Reach it forward. Reach it forward. Bring it back up over your head. And this time we're gonna twist even a little more. Look out over the left shoulder. Bring it back to center. Lengthen that left foot down by your calf or your ankle. Right hand is outside of your left knee. And roll that spine back a little bit. Look out over that left shoulder. Look out over the left shoulder. Sit up tall if you can. Sit up nice and straight. Lift up the heart. Bring it, turn it around. Look forward. Bring that left hand forward. And then inch it around again. Walk it back a little. Take a deep breath and walk it back a little more. The heart is lifted. And bring it to center. Notice what the body feels like. Bring your knee, bring the bottoms of your feet in a little bit. Hold on to your ankles and just flop the knees up and down. Flop the knees up and down. Good. Stretch it out. And we're going down on our back. If you have a strap or a belt or something like that, you could get it if you like. It's up to you. Lay down on your back and hug your knees in. Hug the knees in. on your tail a little bit. Roll around. Now, pick that right heel up to the sky. The left knee is bent on the floor. Pick the right heel up to the sky. Give it a tug behind your thigh, back towards your face. Point your toes. Flex your heel. Point your toes to the sky, your heel to the sky. Do that a few more times. And now roll the ankle around. Roll the ankle around. First in one direction. And then in the other. Hold that leg up and point your toes to your left. Point your toes slowly to your right. Point your toes to your left. Just a little movement in the hip socket. Point your toes to the right, to the left, to the right. Bring that left knee in and hug it into your body as you push that right heel away. Left knee is hugged in. Right heel is away. Bring that right leg back up. And bring it down again. Pull that left knee in. And bring it back up. Now if you have a strap, now would be the time. 
going to put it around your foot. Put the strap around your foot and bring your foot up to the sky. Put the strap in your right hand and make a nice big circle with that right leg. Big circle. Go in one direction. Circle it. Stretch that leg out, go in the other direction slowly. Nice and slow. Bring it back to center. And put the strap into your left hand if you have one. Doesn't matter if you don't. Just bring your right toes over to your left. Your right hand is out to your right to hold you stable. Back up to center, right leg goes to the right, bend the left knee and grab a hold of your left ankle, put that ankle in by your groin area, open up the groin area and the hip, give that right leg a pull into the body, nothing should hurt, should feel nice and good, you're opening up that right leg, that right thigh, the abductor, the inside the right thigh. Bring it back up again and slowly lower it down. Lower both legs down. See if one leg, sometimes the right leg may feel even a little longer than the left leg now. Bend the right knee and lift up the left leg. Give that a tug back to your face. And point and flex your toes a few times. Point and flex. Point and flex. And then roll the ankle around. First in one direction, and then in the other. Bring it back up, bring the heel up to the sky now. Toes point to the right shoulder, toes point to the left, to the right to the left, to the right, to the left. Grab that strap and wrap it around your foot if you have it. And if you don't, that's okay. I'm gonna put my strap around mine, bring it up to the sky. And one of those nice big leg circles. Strap into the left hand. Open it up. One more time. Bring it back to center. Let's go the other way. Roll it around. Roll it around. Roll it around. Put the strap, if you have a strap, put it into your right hand and bring that left leg across the body. Working on the outside, the IT band. A lot of nerves running up outside that thigh. So be nice and gentle. Bring it back to center. Let's go to the other side. Drop that left leg over to your left. Bring that right knee, bend it, and grab a hold of the right heel if you can reach it. Right heel is in towards the groin area. Bring it back to center. And lower that leg slowly. Drop both legs down to the earth. Bring the knees into the body again. Put your arms out to your side, shoulder height, T position. Drop your bent knees to the left and turn your head to the right. Deep breath into the belly. Bring it back to center. And drop your bent knees to the right and turn your head 
to the left. Bring it back to center. Drop the knees to the left again and stretch out that right leg without the strap. to the right, drop the knees to the right, stretch out that left leg, the top leg, grabbing a hold of it, and bring it back in. Bend your knees. The toes are facing straight ahead. We're prepared for bridge posture. The feet are slightly separated. Pick up your toes, plant them down into the earth, put your hands down by your mat, and go up and down a few times. Lift the tail up off the floor, up and down. 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 Good. Go into happy baby. Grabbing a hold of the bottoms of the feet if you can reach it. If not, grab a hold of the ankles or the calves. Bottoms, knees are bent, bottoms of the feet are facing towards the sky. Play with it. Make it yours. Make it yours. Bottoms of the feet come together, knees wide apart. Drop the sides of the soles down to the earth. back up again. Put the right ankle on the left knee. Wrap your hands, if, if you can reach your left thigh, wrap your hands around your left thigh. If you can't reach it, you can wrap a strap around your left leg, or you can take that right knee and push it away. Push the right knee away with your right hand as you try to pull that left thigh in with your left hand. Wiggle it a little bit. Release it a little. Pull it back in a little. Bring that leg up. Bring that left leg up. The knee is still bent on the thigh. On the right knee is bent above the left knee on the thigh. Go up and down a few times. Up and down. Nice and gentle. Release it, and we'll put the left ankle on the right knee. See what you can reach and bring it into the body. Grab a hold of the thigh with both hands if you can. The right thigh. The right thigh. Rock it around a little bit. Maybe you want to push that knee away just to wiggle those hips a little. Release it. Release it, pick up that right leg. Go down. Leave that knee bent. Ankle is on the right knee. Go up and down with the right leg. Open up the hip. Up and down. Up and down. Hug the knees into the body. Hug the knees in, roll around on your tail. Good. Turn over onto your side. Now, I'm going to lift up and put my arm underneath my shoulder. Your other choice would be to lie down with your head on your arm. Okay, so it's your choice. If you can hold it up and make believe that you don't want to go down, you don't want to sink, you don't want to sink back, you're just going to hold it up. The legs are out. Pick up that top thigh up and down. Now, work it slow. Now make a little circle. 
bring it around. Nice little circle. And bring it down. Bring that right, bend the right knee and put it in front of the left leg. Go up and down with the bottom leg. Up and down, up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Relax it. Let's turn and do the same thing on the other side. Turn over to your other side. Stretch it out. Lift that top leg up and down a few times. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Roll it around if you want to make a little circle. Good. Go the other way if you like. Bend that top knee, put it in front of the bottom leg, and go up and down a few times with that bottom leg. I think you might like it better if you put it down here for the bottom leg to go up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Good. Now turn over onto your back. Now we're going to go into Shavasana now. So if it's uncomfortable for you to be on your back, then maybe you prefer to sit or to do it the way that your body needs to do it today, okay? So you can lie down. You can separate your legs a little bit. You can turn your palms to face the sky. Hunch your shoulders up to your ears and then drop them down and back. Release any tension you have in your shoulders. Just very slowly begin to relax your forehead. See if you can relax your forehead. If you have any lines in the forehead, just imagine it smoothing out and being completely relaxed. Stick out your tongue, bring it in, and relax it. Hunch your shoulders up to your ears and drop them down and back. Make a fist and tighten the fist, tight, 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 relax it. Tighten your belly. Tight belly. Relax it. Tighten your legs. Relax it. Spread your toes. Crunch your toes. Relax your toes. Now scan your entire body and see if there's any part of your body that needs more relaxing. If there is, use your mind. Your mind is very powerful. Use your mind to relax your body. Use your mind to relax your body. If your mind can make you sick, your mind can make you well. Think positive. And before you begin to let go of all, Make sure your body is nice and relaxed. And just be here now. Wash the breath. Come in and out through the nostrils. Smooth and gentle. All is well. Having taken the time to take care of your body,
Find your toes and open your eyes. Stretching out when you're ready. Feeling very relaxed and very comfortable. Turning over on your side and when you're ready, pushing yourself up to a comfortable seated position. yourself that this world is not an exclusive place and that there's room for all of us to love, to grow, and to learn together. Namaste.